What's going on, gang? Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Legion's class, Bisque, from Transformers Robots in Disguise, or the new Robots in Disguise. Overall, Bisque is, well, <laughs> he's very, very reddish-orange. He has a face sculpt that is absolutely terrible, but I get what they're going for, and he's just okay. He's just okay. Posability wise he really doesn't have much, especially in the arms. He does have his little pincers here, and that's about it. He does have ball joints in the leg and some knee articulation, but that's more for the transformation than anything else. And overall, he's okay. Not great, but okay. Transformation is very simple. Take the arms and put them forward. Lower claws will fold up into where the doors are for the vehicle mode, and then bring the arms down like this along the well, belly. Reach around the back and fold up the front of the vehicle mode like you would on, I guess it was a, let me think, drift. Put the legs together and then fold them up to form the back of the vehicle mode. Then drop the arms down and peg them into place. And we have a really neat little sports car for the vehicle mode. I want to say it's like a Ferrari, but it, it's not. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've seen a Ferrari in the past couple of years that looks like this. I'm not sure what this is. I have to, I have to do some research on it. But overall, I think the vehicle mode looks really nice. It's very, very stylish and very cool looking compared to Drift, which is obviously supposed to be a Bugatti Veyron. This guy, again, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I like it a lot. As you could tell, I liked Bisp Mode's vehicle mode more than I like his robot mode. I'm really hoping that the deluxe class version that's coming out later this year changes my opinion. So gang, I hope you have enjoyed this quick look at Legion Class Bisque. As always, I'm Bolt Matrix, asking you to hit that subscribe button, hit the like or dislike button, and let me know what you think in the comments. And I will catch you next time.